Abstract writing is a mental exercise that necessitates a basic understanding of the subject. It takes talent and expertise to bring out the key aspects of an author's argument. As a result, a significant amount of competent staff that could be put to better use elsewhere must be devoted to the task of facilitating information access. A noticeable groove divides the brain into its hemispheres. Nerve fibers run along the bottom of this, allowing these two sides of the brain to communicate with one another. However, the left hemisphere is in charge of movement and feeling on the right side of the body, whereas the right hemisphere is in charge of the left. Our main goal is to help you build knowledge, attitudes, and abilities that will help you engage in constructive collaboration, cooperation, and teamwork with others in the future. To succeed, the process necessitates a real exercise in civic duty on the part of all of us. Scholars create their own personal libraries to assist both specific projects and general reading in their fields. When possible, 
they acquire or photocopy resources so that they can consult them regularly, mark pages, and annotate them. They add to their collections when they enter a new field, frequently focusing on primary texts. Undergraduates have the option of majoring in one of 125 academic fields. Internationally renowned scientists, authors, and teachers make up the university's elite faculty, all of whom are dedicated to upholding the university's reputation of providing one of the best undergraduate educations available. Vanilla's distinct aroma is second only to chocolate in popularity among the world's palates. After saffron, it's also the most costly spice. However, because of the plant's labor-intensive growing methods and temperamental life cycle and propagation, global output is struggling to keep up with rising demand. Presentation skills are important to both universities and workplaces. Presentation skills are important to both universities and workplaces. Newspapers across the world are reporting stories of presidents. Newspapers across the world are reporting stories of presidents. Everyone should get access to art galleries no matter where they live. Everyone should get access to art galleries no matter where they live. She is an expert of the 18th century French literature. She is an expert of the 18th century French literature.
please register your student email account at your earliest convenience. Please register your student email account at your earliest convenience. I could not save my work as my computer got crashed. I could not save my work as my computer got crashed. And it's hard to take out the pollutants. And it's hard to take out the pollutants. I was young and inexperienced and going too fast in wet weather. I was young and inexperienced and going too fast in wet weather. Basketball was created in 1891 by a physician and a physical instructor. Basketball was created in 1891 by a physician and a physical instructor. Making a profit and protecting the environment needn't be separate aims. Making a profit and protecting the environment needn't be separate aims. The study of archaeology requires intensive international fieldwork. The study of archaeology requires intensive international fieldwork. Information regarding the graduation laboratory is shown in the graph below. On the map, data from various regions are shown. Toilets and storage are located at the center. Animal sciences are located on the left. The greatest area, according to this graph, is plant sciences. Office is the smallest area in comparison. In conclusion, a meeting room and computer station are indicated on the map.
The globe temperature mean map is shown in the graph below. On the map, data from various regions are shown. The equator is where the annual mean temperature is highest, according to this graph. The Arctic and Antarctic are home to the regions with the lowest annual mean temperatures. This graph shows that the ideal temperature range is between 60 and 70 degrees north latitude. This graph is really informative, to sum it up. The distribution of grapes to consumers is depicted in the following graph. The graph shows that the first phase involves purple grapes maturing on the vine, and the second involves packing the grapes into a truck and transporting them. The grapes are then transported on a conveyor belt in the third phase after which they are packaged in a brown paper box in the fourth stage. The grapes are loaded into a cart as the last stage, indicating that they have reached the customers. This graph is really informative, to sum it up. The view of a street in the fog is depicted in the following graph. This picture is incredibly lovely and depicts a variety of topics. According to this graph, there are three bicycles in the center with women riding the front. They are all black in color. This graph demonstrates that there is a substantial amount of white fog, which is blanketing many people and streetlights, behind the bicycles. This graph demonstrates that there are four white, straight dashed lines on the road surface in the graph's background. It's cloudy outside. Sky color is gray. In conclusion, this image is incredibly educational. Frequency and quality of social interactions are key factors in happiness. The happier people are when they interact with friends, family, and other people, the higher the frequency. It is unclear why happiness and social relationships are associated. There is evidence, however, that happier people are more content with their social relationships, which leads to happier people being more satisfied with their social relationships. People that are content tend to interact with friends and family more frequently. Some people ponder whether their social interactions make them happier or whether their upbeat personality motivate them to interact with their loved ones more frequently.
many items that you wouldn't expect to contain sugar do. There is obviously a lot of sugar in donuts, ice cream, pastries, and other sweet foods, including sweets, but there are other areas where you could find it without really expecting it. Using peanut butter as an illustration. The second most frequent item in this list of ingredients for Skippy peanut butter is sugar. In order for you to understand from reading food labels that these ingredients are included in any food labels according to how much is actually in the product, sugar is mentioned right after peanuts. Another example is beef stew. You might not expect to find sugar in beef stew, but you will. Even though it's near the bottom of the ingredient list, the marketing for this dish claims that it contains fresh potatoes and carrots, but in fact there is more sugar in it than there are carrots. Therefore, you wouldn't expect to discover this to be the case if you ate something like beef stew. What is the opposite word of stale? What is the opposite word of stale? What does submediterranean refer to? What does submediterranean refer to? What is the place you share bedroom with your classmates? What is the place you share bedroom with your classmates? What do we call programs that run on a computer? What do we call programs that run on a computer? In what room do scientists usually do experiments? In what room do scientists usually do experiments?
Canada is a country of the enormous natural resources. It is the world's largest exporter of forest products and a top exporter of fish, furs, and wheat. Minerals have played a key role in Canada's transformation into an urban industrial economy. Alberta, British Columbia, Quebec, and Saskatchewan are the principal mining regions. Ontario and the Northwest, NWT, and Yukon Territories are also significant producer of uranium and potash, the third largest of asbestos, gypsum, and nickel, and the fourth largest of zinc. Oil and gas are exploited in Alberta, off the Atlantic coast, and in the Northwest, huge additional reserves are thought to exist in the high Arctic, oil price is making extraction profitable at a growing number of the country's deposit. Canada is also one of the world's top hydroelectricity producers. The newspaper industry in several states of America has shrunk dramatically over the last 50 years of the 20th century as a result of the economic model. Newspapers also improved their cash flow as the economic paradigm altered. However, several newspaper sectors are still losing money as a result of lower advertising and readership. They are unable to locate buyers. Only a small percentage of newspapers have a positive cash flow. Over 100 publications with negative cash flow were unable to publish their newspapers on a daily basis. Some of them put out content three times a week. Smaller newspapers could only print once a week and were forced to go online. Some newspapers have even vanished. The number of people employed in the newspaper sector has plummeted by 30 to 60 percent or more. We all know water is good for us and that we should probably drink more of it. So why, then, do Americans find it so difficult to sip from what is arguably the fountain of youth? Answers vary, but the fact is, 1 in 10 Americans drinks zero cups of water per day, according to a study by Dr. Allison Goodman, a medical epidemiologist for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Zero. She suspects that those who don't drink any water, or very little, are getting it from other sources such as food and coffee, but warns this may not be enough.
For many wine lovers, the arrival of Beaujolais Nouveau on November 16, or Beaujolais Nouveau Day, has become a festive addition to celebrations during the holiday season. The Beaujolais Nouveau heritage began with the wine growers themselves, who toasted the end of the harvest and their hard work with a sampling of wine they had just produced. Take a look to learn how Le Van Georges Dubouf has helped extend this regional tradition to wine drinkers around the world through the commemoration of Beaujolais Nouveau Day. Dave Hackenberg, a beekeeper since 1962, can usually tell what killed his bees just by looking at them. If they're lying on the ground in front of a hive, it's probably pesticides, he says. If the bees are deformed and wingless, it's probably vampire mites. But last fall, Hackenberg saw something he had never seen before. Thousands of his bee colonies simply disappeared. He was in Florida at the time, pulling the lids off some of his commercial hives. To his horror, they were all empty. And one particular crop, almond in the US and now in Australia, is transforming the world of beekeeping and of bees. What has happened is that something serendipitous came along that people found out, that doctors found out that almonds are good for you, a confection but it's good for you. The almond board got a very aggressive promotion going on for almonds. They actually, I just heard recently, send out sales reps to cardiologists at hospitals to promote the heart benefits of almonds. In a very good promotion of almonds, and it's legitimate promotion because they are a healthy food. Along the way, we have built unashamedly beautiful buildings, two of which have won and been runner-up in the prestigious United Nations World Habitat Award, the first time an Australian building has received that international honour. We rely on older concepts of Australian architecture that are heavily influenced by the bush. All residents have private verandas which allow them to socialise outdoors and also create some defensible space between their bedrooms and public areas. We use a lot of natural or soft materials and build beautiful landscaped gardens.
Cigarette smoking is on the decline in the United States for a number of reasons, including laws banning smoking in many workplaces and in public spaces and at least partial restrictions in other areas. However, the moist tobacco market is on the rise and has increased by nearly 7% from 2011 to 2014, according to a Euromonitor International report. As a result, many companies are developing products and accessories to serve this expanding market, and they are realizing that some of the prevailing myths about tobacco users don't hold up. With this changing landscape of tobacco use, comes an opportunity to dispel several of these myths. Myth number one, tobacco users are messy. Myth number two, tobacco users are inconsiderate. Myth number three, tobacco users are uncultured. When joining a new company, there are often perks to consider, a company car, maybe a 401k plan. With millennials now making up the lion's share of the workforce, a number of companies are betting that helping to pay off student debt is the next game changer when it comes to attracting and retaining the best and the brightest. It's not a bad wager. Total education debt stood at a staggering $1.52 trillion at the end of March. And while the perk is by no means reserved only for millennials, it's not lost on anyone that the average student loan borrower will have graduated this year saddled with more than $37,000 in debt. One of the companies touting the new benefit is the same one, Fidelity Investments, that already handles millions of workers' 401k plans. Businesses enrolled in its Student Debt Employer Contribution Program are able to make after-tax contributions to their employees' outstanding student loans, setting their own parameters as to who and how much with the help of a modeling tool for estimating their potential recruitment and retention cost savings. Contemporary style and design are everywhere and can be a foundation for many new homes built today. But what exactly does that mean? Contemporary style is really about reduction, reducing things to their essence and having really clean lines and uncluttered spaces, says Alan Pickett, Pella Corporation's resident architect. Current contemporary design offers a softer take on modern, it has the same simple, clean lines, but with decoration that is naturally minimalistic. Light, color, and fabrics all play a part in gaining a contemporary look for your home. Today's contemporary style dwellings will have asymmetrical shapes, windows with minimal trim in a contrasting or dark color, and a lot of glass and other textures. Whether for escape, enlightenment, or pure joy, books allow us to connect to other places and times. 
Fortunately for the millions of Americans who have impaired vision or a physical disability, there are Braille and taking books from NLS. NLS is the National Library Service for the Blind and Physically Handicapped, part of the Library of Congress. Established in 1931, the organization's mission is to enrich the lives of its patrons by offering them books, magazines, music scores, and other materials in audio and braille at no charge. Unlike traditional audiobooks that are provided at public libraries or sold at retail bookstores, audiobooks offered by NLS are unabridged, extensive and diverse, and the design specifically for people who are unable to read regular print. So we always had an attention economy, whether it was on radio or television there's always been a race for our attention and it's a zero-sum game. If one TV station gets more of your attention the other TV station gets less. But now because we're spending more and more time on screens and there's so many things competing for our attention we really feel it. And on the attention economy with social media and with the internet and our screens, everything needs your underscore 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 underscore. Making a resolution to improve your finances puts you several steps closer along the road to a better bottom line, based on data from Fidelity Investments' 8th Annual New York Financial Resolution Study. Looking for a resolution that will pay off and pay dividends? Simply resolving to pay more attention to your finances improves the chances that your financial health will underscore 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 underscore. This simulation shows what you might see if you are orbiting a black hole. The light and position of background stars around the hole are distorted by its gravity and they seem to spin around. On the right, the constellation Orion appears to approach the event horizon the boundary from which nothing can escape. Orion stars look like they become separated and get spun around. Once the hole has passed by, Orion reappears on the left and looks normal again. Users can also experiment with different scenarios. This is what you might see if you were traveling towards a black hole with rocket engines slowing your descent. Another simulation mimics free fall into a hole. In the middle the light of the entire universe appears to be concentrated in a bright ring. This simulation shows what you might see if you are orbiting a black hole. The light and position of background stars around the hole are distorted by its gravity and they seem to spin around. On the right, the constellation Orion appears to approach the event horizon the boundary from which nothing can escape. Orion stars look like they become separated and get spun around. Once the hole has passed by, Orion reappears on the left and looks normal again. Users can also experiment with different scenarios. This is what you might see if you were traveling towards a black hole with rocket engines slowing your descent. 
Another simulation mimics free fall into a hole. In the middle the light of the entire universe appears to be concentrated in a bright ring. Amory Lovins is an American consultant experimental physicist and he has been active at the nexus of energy, resources, economy, environment, development and security in more than 50 countries for over 40 years. He pays attention on energy saving and how to use energy in a more efficient and sustainable ways. He built a house with plenty of energy saving concepts. He's an unusual character with a wide range of knowledge and a genius, but he's not a scientist. He has a consulting company and lives in a house that is built on the mountains. For 30 years, he used a lot of ways to save energy and solved problems with technologies that already existed and demonstrated them. Some people think he is so crazy. A female writer wrote a book about him which is called Mr. Green. Amory Lovins is an American consultant experimental physicist and he has been active at the nexus of energy, resources, economy, environment, development and security in more than 50 countries for over 40 years. He pays attention on energy saving and how to use energy in a more efficient and sustainable ways. He built a house with plenty of energy saving concepts. He's an unusual character with a wide range of knowledge and a genius, but he's not a scientist. He has a consulting company and lives in a house that is built on the mountains. For 30 years, he used a lot of ways to save energy and solved problems with technologies that already existed and demonstrated them. Some people think he is so crazy. A female writer wrote a book about him which is called Mr. Green. Students requiring an extension should apply sooner rather than later. Students requiring an extension should apply sooner rather than later. Remember to bring calculators to class next week. Remember to bring calculators to class next week. Economic problems caused a big rise in unemployment. Economic problems caused a big rise in unemployment. There is a clear need for further research in this field. There is a clear need for further research in this field.
If you like our video kindly subscribe our channel and also press the low bell icon. Thank you.